Uh, hello, everyone. I'm here to tell you about something surprising that happened to me so that I started thinking that maybe I should go to a doctor. I noticed that after some time of simultaneous development of MapReduce job, maintaining a large Hadoop cluster and listening to perfect music, I started discovering Hadoop and its related concepts in the lyrics of many popular songs. Believe me or not, but Coldplay, The Black Eyed Peas, or Michael Jackson are singing about Hadoop, and I can prove that. <laughs> I collected all those songs together and created the first ever Hadoop playlist, and now I will describe it. And simply speaking, each song will become an excuse to shortly talk about Hadoop, its ecosystem, internals, and the issues that we have seen on our cluster. Are you ready? Okay. So let's start. Coldplay is singing about something yellow, something that has skin and bones, and it's beautiful. And I know one such a thing, and it's obviously a yellow elephant called Hadoop. <laughs> Hadoop is beautiful, and one of its beauties is the abstraction that it offers to developers. So now it's really easy to implement a distributed application that processes petabytes of data on thousands of machines. And if you implement many Hadoop jobs, you will probably want to connect them into a pipeline and submit to the cluster. Then you can use Luigi, our open source scheduler. Luigi is an alternative to Apache Uzi. And this is what Native King is singing about. Don't take guns to your Hadoop town. Use Luigi instead. <laughs> However, with or without guns, Hadoop Town is a very dangerous place, and you can see many crimes there. For example, one day we noticed a serial killer that was killing thousands of tasks from Hive queries, causing them to run, run very long. And when troubleshooting this issue, we discovered that first scheduler tries to be kind and it kills Hive tasks to give their slots to the production jobs that were starving. To fix that issue, we had to reconfigure first scheduler and ply with these settings. And Sophie Ellis Baxter is singing about that, but she uses slightly different terminology. The dance floor is obviously Hadoop cluster, the murder <laughs> is a first scheduler, and we know about his kind, and we have to play with it. And Actually, we saw one more killer on our Hadoop cluster, and it was the out-of-memory killer killing task trackers. And it happened to us because we wanted to deploy some memory-related change to our cluster, but Puppet, a funny boy, did a funny thing for us. Puppet simply became blocked on a couple of machines, and it didn't deploy that change on them, so that those machines were running out of memory. Let's stay for one more moment with this criminal theme. There is a funny comment, are you okay, that checks if Zookeeper daemon is running fine. And Zookeeper responds, I'm okay, if it's running okay, otherwise it doesn't respond at all. And exactly the same question is asked by Michael Jackson to Annie, but the only difference is that the Annie is not a Zookeeper and she doesn't respond, I'm okay. <laughs> are you still with me or is it too silly? <laughs> and a couple months ago, we, we noticed that our cluster is super slow because there are, there are many large jobs running on it. And to solve that problem, we decided to limit the number of tasks per job. And initially, we didn't have an idea how to set that limit, so we started negotiate. And to reach some consensus, we had to meet halfway us the Black Eyed Peas suggests. And obviously nobody should set such a limit based on guess, so one moment later we looked at the data and we made an educated decision to set a right limit for that. And how Shrek is related to Hadoop? The answer is easy, because the Shrek, Shrek is the official name of our Hadoop cluster at Spotify, and we love it, and this is why we grow it to the largest one in Europe. And if you want more, please visit my blog called Hakuna Map Data. <laughs> and by the way, it's also inspired by a song which is Hakuna Matata that comes from the Disney's The Lion King. 
Thank you very much.